<clears throat> Hi, everybody, and welcome to TWF Impact Wrestling. And today on Impact Wrestling, we have we have the principal owner or the majority owner, Diva Talks here. Ever since I became the principal owner or majority owner of the Toy Wrestling Federation, I have been met with I have been met with resistance. First, from John Cena, not surprising, of course. Then from Tyler Rex, that I was surprised about, you know. And from The Rock, but then again, I'm not really surprised. When you think of free people, when you think of two people, well, besides Steve Austin, of course, when you think of two people, or really free people, two other people come to mind who have been defiant to authority, it's been John Cena and The Rock. So The Rock took it upon himself, like he normally does, he took it upon himself to put himself to help John Cena. By doing so, he knew that he was putting himself in a fate. He knew that he was going to get himself in serious trouble. Now, I know what some of you people are thinking. Well, Diva Talks, you did it all before. Ah. <sighs> Back when you were the general manager on several occasions, then when you were the chief brand officer, and then when you were the commissioner, and now you're doing it as the owner now. So Diva Talk says, I want The Rock to come on here, and I want him to apologize. So, you want The Rock to come out and apologize. Apologize for coming out and helping John Cena. Rock, you know your ego. You've never been able to get along with too many people. You and Steve Austin only tolerated each other during your time in WWE when he was the top wrestler. And after you became the top, after, uh, when he was the face, and you became the face after his... Uh, after the time he had it, you know, you only tolerate each other when he was on top. And the same thing when you were on top. You know? And the same thing, you don't really like John Cena that much, but just like Steve Austin, you only tolerated him. You know? You and John Cena had two WrestleMania matches. You tagged up once to take on the Miz and our truth at Survivor Series. You won your 8th WWE Heavyweight Championship from CM Punk. Had two matches with him. <coughs> and except for maybe those occasional appearances where you came out and said a bunch of shit. You know, either CM Punk or Daniel Bryan. Or that time where you came out to try to help the Rock, try to help, you know, John Cena and got you know, took down a big show in the Rock Nail and the CM Punk Nail Jew. Or the time you confronted Alexander Rusev. You know, or that time that you when you burst Eric Rowan at WrestleMania and John Cena helped you take care of Eric Rowan and you know and uh Luke Harper and Braun Strowman and Bray Wyatt. Uh, uh, regardless of all that. Uh, you have never gotten along with anybody. Hold on here, Diva Talks. Diva Talks. What kind of name is that? It's a, it doesn't matter what kind of name it is. Then you're going to run me down for, <coughs> you're going to run me down. And list all the things. Yeah, I've had problems with Steve Austin in the past. Not surprised, you know. It's well documented. I've had problems with John Cena, problems with CM Punk. I've had problems with the Big Show. Make a whole list. I've had problems with Hulk Hogan, problems with everybody. 
But yeah, when The Rock saw that John Cena was being attacked by two people, I didn't think it was fair. You know, me and John Cena have learned to respect each other. Yes, we both wrestle differently. Yes, we both have two different audiences. Yes, we're from two different generations. And yes, you know, and yes, me and John Cena had two WrestleMania matches that were very good. You know, <clears throat> one that I won and one that John Cena won, so we're tied there. And yes, I did go, yes. Okay, Rock. You will apologize for interfering. The Rock will not apologize. Let me give you a little story, Diva Talks, about how this was supposed to have happened. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, you're only here for, what, three years? Prior to that, it was what? It was like what? What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine years we had to wait for you to come. And then when you finally showed up, The Rock says, it was nothing that I'm Diva Talks. You know? I'm the general manager. Oh, no, I'm the chief brand officer. Now, I'm the commissioner. I'm the owner now. Yeah, and it was just you abusing your power. And every freaking time that John Cena or myself thought they had gotten a rid of you, you'd come back. Well, The Rock says he's going to give you a rock bottom. And The Rock is going to give you the people's elbow. Sorry you ain't apologizing, Rock. Guess you're going to take on Space Godzilla and destroy you in a, you know, in a handicap match. Ding-ding-ding. Well, we got a referee in the ring now. Well, <clears throat> first, in the handicap match, we have <clears throat> we have Space Godzilla and Rock Bottom. Oh, the Rock just gave one, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. The Rock just gave Space Godzilla the Rock Bottom. I said it was a handicap match, Diva Talk says. So... The Rock just gave Space Godzilla the Rock Bottom and Oh, Destroyer came in. Rock Bottom. Oh. And The Rock is going to think he's going to beat both of them. The Rock thinks he's going to beat both of them. The referee is going down for the count here. Let's we'll see what happens. You know, wait a <clears throat> wait a minute. One, two, oh, Elgar Elgar put in interfering in the match here, and The Rock just slapped Elgar down too. Rock bottom. The Rock just basically attacked at Elgar, and now he's going to try to defeat Space Godzilla in one two day kick out. But the damage has been done. Oh, and Destroyer right now is taking down Space Godzilla. And the referee just went down because the ring's so messed up. There's got to be tags here and Space Godzilla right now. Just finally tagged himself in and he took down the rock. And then Space Godzilla tagging in Destroyer here. And wait a minute. Oh, rock bottom. <clears throat> People's elbow. One, two. Space Godzilla coming in now trying to break it up here. And The Rock just nailed him down with the rock bottom, too. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner. Here is your winner. Here is your winner, The Rock. 
So, Rock, you actually think you're bad because you defeated Space Godzilla and Destroyer. Well, there is no way that you're going to get your hands on me. Old Rock tried to get his hand, try to get his hands on Divatox, but it looks like, you know, it looks like they failed on that attempt. Wait a minute. It's John Cena. John Cena's got Diva Talks and he's put her in the ring. And John Cena just made sure the Diva Talks wouldn't get away from the Rock. Wait a minute. <coughs> Here it comes. Rock Bottom. Oh. People's Elbow. And the Rock Kid gave Diva Talks, you know, the People's Elbow. And the Rock Bottom, after John Cena helped out the Rock. Well, we understand that, uh, let's see. Well, if we can actually get that microphone, we should be sure gotten to dig out. my throat but we really don't know where the microphone went we know it's somewhere in the you know somewhere in the in the bag I think we found it And I believe, well, <clears throat> and Diva Talks is still on the ground. Renee Young here, Diva Talks. Apparently, you're ma apparently, The Rock did not give you apology, and apparently he attacked you instead. Real funny, Renee Young. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't care. If it's Gino, I don't care if it's Joey Styles or Gene Oakland or Jim Ross or Gorilla Monsoon or Jonathan Coachman or you, Renee Young. I will do not appreciate being interviewed after I've been rock bottomed and people elbowed. You see, you're apparently supposed to be the comedy act, I guess. According to some people, you're supposed to be the comedic hit. The, the funny announcer flash interviewer. But then again, that's what you claim. Okay? But anyway, regardless of my opinion of you, let me tell you right now. Rock, this is not over. You and John Cena are going to pay for what you did. Embarrassing me as the principal owner. That... Uh, sorry for that burp. That will not stand. I'll get my hands on you. You will pay for your disrespecting of me. And you think just because you think this is over, it's not. Mock my words, Rock. Mock my words, John Cena. I will get you both. You don't know when, you don't know how, but I will. And as far as being and far, this interview is over. Well, people, that was all, that was Renee Young's interview. That was my interview, Renee Young says, with uh with Diva Talks. You know, hope you enjoy it. Thank you, Renee Young. Anyway, people. 
John anyway to rock defeated Space Godzilla and Destroyer in the handicap match here on Impact Wrestling. And we hope you enjoyed this episode of Impact Wrestling. And we will see you tomorrow <clears throat> for TWF Superstars.